Hello, uh, John Lord here again. We're going to start cutting back our small herbaceous border next week. And basically, you just cut back everything that's dead. You can generally, some of the plants like that, you can see, they come up very easy. Dead easy. Some of them are a bit harder. So, what we do is we get a, um, we get a mechanical hedge cutters and we do the whole lot really quickly. And you, uh, you can see, where there's granary, new growth, that's a hemerocallus. You obviously don't bother cutting that back, you leave that alone. But anything that's that's dead. Now, the problem, as soon as you cut the stuff back, you bare ground more or less with little bits of sticks. And as a result, you don't know, you forget very quickly what, what's what. So you have to, any moving about cannot then be done until everything comes up, we we'll say in May or June. So. If you want to move anything now, you have to move it before, while it's still, you have some visibility above the ground. And this is a Joe Pye weed. We're removing this for two reasons. It's getting a bit strong. They can take over a bit. And also, it's near the Sanguisorba. And they're a very similar pink shade. And one doesn't help the other. So we're going to um, move this, and we're going to replace it with a Hellenium. And we're going to do that the next week. Now, that's the only... The only thing we're going to do, so we just and we have a spot for a plant in this as well. Look what we have here. Anybody recognize that? It's some type, it's a fungus, it's some type of a puffball. It does what it says in the tin, it puffs. And that's what we're going to do. The whole lot will go down, and it looks a bit, it'll look a bit like scorched earth for about three or four weeks and then the lovely fresh stuff comes up and we're away again. The hedge, we cut the hedge late late last year, late last year, so I think we'll probably get away leaving the hedge. It's actually, it's it's the Caucasian laurel and it's actually going to flower. It's actually quite a nice flowering laurel, very easy to grow. I prefer to the ordinary laurel because it's greener. Okay, that's that's uh, that's um, the first thing we're gonna do. When we, when we clear everything off, what I tend to do then is um, any weeding has to be done, we do any weeding and if it's, very, if it's a very weedy spot with lots of annual weeds, we put a bit of bark on it and that'll sort of stop the weeds, that'll deaden the weeds. And we have a little problem here. We have what's called robin run the hedge, or cleavers. And it comes in. We have to get every single bit of that out. And um, it comes in on the coats of the dogs, the dogs that go through the borders uh, during the summer. We put a sign up, no dogs, but dogs ignored it, as did their masters. So we, we just, when we take that away, we get rid of every single bit of this. It's an annual, but the problem with it is, if you let it get out of hand, it produces so many seeds that it's very difficult to get it back to zero again. So you have to get it at the early stage. And it's, it's quite a clever little plant. What it has, it has a little adaptation from the, to prevent it being completely wiped out by hand weeding. There's a little weak spot just above the roots. And, so, and when you, when you um, if you're not careful, when you weed it, it breaks off of that weak spot and it regrows at that spot again. So you have to be careful because it's to do it nature. Humans have been weeding it for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years and eventually it's figured out a way of uh, sort of getting around hand weeding. So you have to know that and you have to be a bit cleverer than the plant. This is the first time we've been out in our prairie garden and our back garden since the end of last year. And this is, nothing's been done. This is exactly, this is the way it looked in October. And what, so, the good thing about it is, what do we do? You can see exactly what do we do. What's what do we do next? Well, first of all, we'll do a bit of leaf. We'll get rid of. We we'll do a bit of leaf raking, and then we, we'll rake maybe the bigger piles of rougher stuff together and get rid. And then we we'll get the blower, get a good strong blower, and we we'll blow a lot of the other leaves um, into the hedges and into the back of the shrubs, and they just disappear. Now we're always careful when we rake leaves that we don't try not to go the whole way down to expose the mineral soil because then you get light gets the mineral soil and you get loads of weeds. So you try to keep a little bit of organic matter on top and then also we do any ivies 
and the ivy. Always. Oh, and ruthless with ivy. Out. Because it will take over. But primarily we're looking at our prairie garden. And the whole lot's going to be cut to the ground. The whole thing is done, takes about an hour. Put the whole bloody lot down. And then we cut our hedge. Because the great thing about cutting the hedge now is that we can't do any damage to the plants in front of it because everything is. If we were to cut our hedge, we'd say in June or July, we could damage plants. But if we do everything now and won't go, it's much easier. So we'll, the hedge cutter is going to be used a lot next week. Um, before, and I mentioned this already, before we cut stuff down, we have to decide is there anything we want to move now? Because as I said, when you cut it down, you can't see what's there until it all comes back up again. Yeah, well, we want to get rid of this stilby. And I mentioned it before, it's a, it's a stilby visions in pink. The problem with it is, it's, it's just a bit dry there, the stilby, because of the laurel hedge. And secondly, it's a bit on the low side. It's very similar height-wise uh, to the dwarf fruit beck. Yeah. So we want to get something a bit higher. We're going to put actually a persicari there. So that's going to come out. Before we cut everything back, they're going to all come out. And then these are coming out here. It's a uh, eupatorium. It's whitey coloured. That's the best way to explain it. It's not even proper white. It's wishy-washy white. And it's similar colour to the persicari. It's a white persicari in front. And these aruncus are whitish as well. So that's going to come out. And we're going to put this Hellenium, and it's far enough away from the other daisy. That's a, that's the yellow daisy, uh, the Rebecca, and it's shorter, and has a different a different colour flower. That would be more proper yellow. That one has a bit of sort of bronzy bronzy colouring in it. So that's going to go. So they're all going to come out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we have a nice clump of Hellenium in there. And we'll do that first, we'll dig them out. Let's see. You see how um you can actually see that if we see how readily the the, the leaves come the, the last year's stems come away. So if we didn't we didn't dig them out now, we'd have to wait to to do it in another two or three months. And we'll be really busy then, so we're trying to get few bits done here first. So that has to be done. There's another one. Wow, look. And what are we going to do with this Eupatorium? No, I don't know. I just don't know what we're going to do with it. I hate the thoughts of throwing it out, but you can't, you can't keep every plant. Some, some plants you just have to say, no, try them, don't like. You know, sorry about that, Chief. <laughs> anyway, um, that's um, that's us sort of started off for the year. And there's one thing about Ireland, it's a temperate climate. When we were in school, we were told that Ireland has a temperate climate. What we were never told, it's got a temperate climate if you're a sheep or a cow. It's not a temperate climate for a human. There, I'll leave it at that.